Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, A Twist of Gem. Today I will be making scallion pancakes. I have made scallion pancakes once before. This is the second time I am making them. They came out good, but I will need to make these a few more times in order to perfect it. This recipe is straightforward and only requires a few ingredients. For the pancakes you will need two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sesame oil, four garlic cloves, sunflower oil, one bunch of scallions, and one cup of boiling water. In a large bowl, add the flour and salt and whisk. Then add the sesame oil and the boiling water. Mix with a wooden spoon. The dough consistency should be shaggy. My dough was very wet, so I had to add more flour in order for it to come together. Remove the dough from the bowl and knead it for about 5 minutes. As you knead the dough, it should become smooth. 
I probably needed my dough for longer than five minutes just because my kneading skills aren't the best. Once the dough is kneaded, place it in a bowl and cover with a damp cloth. Let it rest for one hour. The longer the dough rests, the better. Overnight would be great, but I just let mine rest for one hour. If you guys have any tips on how to knead dough, please drop a comment, let me know. Kneading dough is important because it helps gluten form and also it gives the dough a better structure. Chop up the scallions and garlic. In a small saucepan, add half a cup of sunflower oil and half a cup of flour. Mix the ingredients on low heat. This will form a paste. Once the paste has come together, remove it from the heat and cool. After the dough has rested for one hour, Remove the dough from the bowl and place it on a board. Roll the dough into a log. Cut the dough into your desired amount of pieces. 
I did six. I should have did four pieces to get larger pancakes, but I'll keep that in mind for the next time. With a rolling pin, roll each piece of dough as thin as possible. Try to roll the dough out into a rectangular shape. I know that's a bit hard, so don't go crazy if you can't get it exactly like a rectangle. Mine were more like ovals, so if you could do circles or ovals, that's fine too. Take the paste mixture and brush it on top of the dough. I added cheese to the scallions. You don't have to do that, but I just like cheese and everything, so I added it here. Mix the cheese and scallions together and spread it on top of the dough. Now roll the dough like a jelly roll. Start with the longer side of the dough and roll the dough away from you. When you're rolling the dough, try to do it as tight as possible and then you're going to coil the dough. Place the coiled dough on a plate or dish. Rub sunflower oil onto each piece of dough and cover with a towel. In a skillet, heat up sunflower oil. Take the dough and smash it down a bit. Take a rolling pin and roll it out as thin as you can. Place the dough in the skillet and cook for about four minutes on each side. Cover the dough with a lid while it cooks.
Once the pancake is done cooking, place it on some paper towel to drain. I made a quick dipping sauce for the pancakes. Three tablespoons of rice vinegar. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One teaspoon of chili garlic sauce and half a teaspoon of sugar. The sauce goes really well with the pancakes. I suggest if you make these scallion pancakes for a party that you make individual portions of the sauce because this sauce is definitely a double triple dipping situation. Again, I have to do these scallion pancakes a few more times to perfect them. The rolling and coiling of the dough are supposed to result in lamination, so the dough is flaky with layers. I think I did a pretty good job. The pancakes are a great snack to nibble on throughout the day. They are crispy and tasty. Let me know if you guys try this recipe. Leave a comment. Here's some fun facts about sesame oil. Sesame oil is from sesame seeds. Sesame was cultivated more than 5,000 years ago. Nigeria is one of the leading exporters of sesame seeds and it is grown in about 26 of the 36 states in Nigeria. Sesame oil contains no cholesterol. Sesame oil promotes skin and hair health. Sesame oil also helps in the treatment of cracked hills. I didn't know that. So the next time my hills are crackly, I'm just going to go try and rub some sesame oil on them to bring them back to life. <laughs> 